what's shaking my friends my name is Shay welcome back to my channel today I'm going to do the contradictions book tag for those of you that have been wondering where I have been and because it's been over a week since I've posted and that's because my in-laws came a week earlier than originally planned and so all of my filming plans just went kaput but today I have the contradictions book tag and we are going to go ahead and we are going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing is love the genre, not the book. So I could list a ton of this because I am mostly a fantasy reader and there's a lot of fantasy books that I dislike. But one that's popular and one that's probably a lot popular right now because the sequel is, is coming out soon. Uh, and that's going to be The Shadow of the Gods by John Gwynn. I haven't heard that many people say that they did not like this book. But I just didn't like it. I liked the main character, the really powerful female. I just didn't like the story. It was very slow at first. And then, yes, there's a payoff at the end. But I just felt like the slow, the slowness of the story did not, um, a big payoff at the end does not negate the rest of the not jiving with me book. So I don't plan to continue on. The next one is rarely read this genre, love this book. So I don't do historical fiction. I don't really do literary fiction, but I can tell you right now, one of my favorite books of all time is going to be The Kite Runner by Khaled Husseini. And I recently read another book by him. Um, and just, I love it. I love his writing. I love learning about the Middle East and the history of it through his books. And I truly truly love his character work and um, this is probably one of the only authors that I will read that I will read everything that he writes in this genre. Love this trope didn't love the book so I'm not one that really keeps up with different tropes that I love so I am going to go with kind of a simple answer. I'm a fantasy reader and normally magic schools are in my wheelhouse. However, um, I like any kind of school setting, whether it's in regular uh, book, contemporary books, mystery book, thriller books, whatever. It's a school setting, I'm in for it. And in the Poppy War, there is a military, she goes off to military school, uh, kind of learns some magic. And I, we all know, I did not get the hype of the Poppy War. I do want to reread it, though, um, so because I do want to continue on. That is one that I want to reread. But I didn't hate the book, but I necessarily didn't like it either. Next one is hate this trope, love the book. So this is another thing, again, I don't really do a lot of tropes, but I can say that I hate the love triangle trope. And in Legend Born by Tracy Dion, there is a setup of a love triangle and I don't mind it. I am like here for it. So there's that. I love Legend Born, highly recommend. Love this author, didn't like this book. Well, this is a no-brainer. Um, I read this in December, I think, and that's going to be Cytonic by Brandon Sanderson. I just checked out. I didn't hate the book, but I gave it three stars, which I loved Skyward. I loved, I've loved everything I've pretty much read by Brandon Sanderson, but this was just, you know, not on par for what he usually writes. So I was disappointed by this one. So the next one is disliked this author, loved this book. And uh, this means I disliked uh, some of the books that the writer has written previously and then I found a book by them that I loved and that author is going to be Emily Henry and I absolutely adored the people we meet on vacation. This was a five-star read for me. I almost didn't read it because I didn't like anything else I have read by this author. I read Beach Read. Didn't really care for it. Didn't actively just hate it. Okay, maybe a little bit. Um, but I also read her YA sci-fi kind of mystery book uh, when the sky fell on splendor I think is what it was called and I kind of actively hated that book so I finally picked this one up and I loved it then love this cover didn't like the book this is an unpopular opinion and that's going to be this is a beautiful cover both the US edition and the UK edition any special editions of this book is beautiful and that's going to be 
uh, Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. I absolutely actively hated this book and I don't understand why because it would feel like it has everything I like but then uh, reading like retellings, folklore books, uh, I just, I've realized that they are not for me. And so I'm going to try to steer clear of those kinds of things from here on out. Don't like the cover, loved the book. So I don't like covers with real people on it. So some of these will be uh, Theft of Swords uh, by Michael J. Sullivan. It's got real people on it, as you can see. Um, so not too great. And also another one series that I like um, is going to be Alona Andrews. All her series have real people on them. This one is uh, her uh, Kate Daniels series and um, all of her covers, even in all of her series, I believe have real people on them. And I love her writing and I love the books. I just can't stand the covers. All right, guys, that is it. Um, I hope you guys are having a great week and continue to do so. And I hope your reading is going well. And if you want to do this tag, feel free. I'm not going to tag specific people, but if you're watching this video, uh, consider yourself tagged. And I will catch you guys later.